My name is Caitlin Gray and this video is for the professional dispositions of teachers. I believe I possess many of the dispositions, um, one of them being the ability to hold high expectations for my students. Each student will have different expectations, a different level of expectations, but I do believe it is important to give them those expectations. It gives them the goal that they need to work toward. Um, you need to understand their weaknesses and where they need the most work so that you can work with them and give them their goal. And you need to highlight their strengths and, and let them know how well they are doing in other areas so that it gives them the encouragement for maybe where they're not doing their best. Um, encouraging curiosity is also another strength I believe I possess. Um, being able to challenge them and push their minds further to think out of the box. Um, you know, they need those things. It, it can open a doorway for them to understand a different type of comprehension um, and, you know, just help them in general explore to be able to just understand in text more deeply and allow them to create with their imagination. Honesty is also another important disposition I believe teachers should uphold. This is one of the foundations of one of your relationships. And so if you have an honest and open relationship with your students and they as well with you, that in turn will show not only to their grades but also to their parents. And so you need that kind of trust um, and you need that kind of honesty to be able to have that relationship with your student where the parents are comfortable, the student is comfortable. That will allow them to open up and learn so much more from you when they are that comfortable with you. A disposition I believe that I could work on would be diversity. Um, that it's, it's not a very spoken of thing where I live and so um, you know, that's something I will have to learn to become more comfortable with. Each student is different and they need to be celebrated for their differences, but opening up about it, not being so shy about it, um, for a fear of offense. So I, I do need to work on that and, um, that is something I'll have to become more comfortable with as I work toward getting into my classroom. Um... I believe all teachers should display all of the qualities, all of the dispositions. Um, some of them should maybe stand out a little more than others, but they're all important. Um, you always need to be fair with your students, and you need to make sure that your students understand while each student might be going through something differently or learning differently or getting pulled and getting that one-on-one -on -one work. It's because it may be different to how they need to learn. Um, so, you know, you, your, your children need to understand the impact of fairness um, on their grades, how they're, how they're learning, how you're teaching them. Um, and you, as an educator, need to be fair with that as well. Um, compassion, that kind of goes in, hand in hand with the honesty um, that's one of one of the foundations of your relationships with your students so you always need to make sure that you're showing compassion you're showing them that you care you're showing them that you're invested in their future and that you want them to succeed um, in order to be able to pull out of them what what they need they they need to understand that you have compassion and that you care and that you're there for them also, it's important for professional conduct to be displayed with your students as well as with your coworkers. You need to have um, the important boundaries between you and your students as well as you and your coworkers, um, especially when it's in the type of community that you're going to be in. Um, everything that you say, everything that you do is out in the open. Um, and everybody kind of has their eye on you just because you are a teacher. Um, so it's very important that you make sure that you maintain professional conduct in all areas of your life, 
inside of the building, outside of the building, with your students, with your coworkers. It's very, very important that you go by those model ethics that we just went through and learned about. Um, all of those things are, are very important to upholding your professional conduct as a teacher. Um, so I hope I covered everything and um, this will be my submission for the professional disposition of teachers. Thank you.